In this video, we are discussing data flow in MapReduce framework. In the previous videos, we have discussed how the mapper is working and next we have discussed how the reducer is working. So please watch all those videos for the better understanding of this concept. So here you can find that there is one diagram is there. So input will be there, input will be consisting of multiple different records and those records will be splitted by the input split into multiple logical model which can be handled by the mapper. And then after this split, we'll be having the record reader, which will convert these records into key value pairs because mapper can only read and handle key value pairs. Then the output of that will be made available to the mapper and mapper will be handling this key value pair. The developer can put the logic in the mapper according to the business logic requirement or business logic implementation. And then this mapper will produce the intermediate output and this intermediate output will not be stored onto the HDFS but it will be stored on the local HDD. And then, then all this all these outputs from this mappers will be will be done the shuffling and shorting and that will be stored here and that will be made available to the respective reducer. So this shorting will be done on the values stored in the keys. And then the reducer will do the reduce and it will produce the output that is a part 0 on the HDFS that is Hadoop distributed file system. So data flow in MapReduce framework. The data which will be processed through the MapReduce are stored in HDFS and the data are stored in different blocks and stored in a distributed format. So that means the data will be stored into multiple commodity hardwares. So steps of data flow. In each mapper, one split will be, will be there to process at a time and developers can put their own business logic in these mappers. And mappers run in parallel fashion in all of the machines. So mapper will be running in parallel, will be doing the processing on all of the machines in parallel and the business logic will be put in the mapper by the developer. The output of the mapper is stored on the local disk but not onto the HDFS and this output is shuffled to, to reducer to perform the reduced task. When all of the mappers have completed their task, the output is then sh uh, shorted and then they will get merged. The reducer takes those data and performs the reducing task and then the output is stored onto the HDFS in the form of part 0. So that is our mapper and reducer and how the data flow is taking place we have discussed that one into details thanks for watching this video